You know, when I was younger, I didn't really have a Barbie doll because I didn't really have one that looked like Zendaya. But I want my little nieces to be able to have a have a doll that represents beauty that they can connect to and they can understand. The hair was obviously so important to me. They took their time and they made it perfect. So that, but literally like there's so much detail guys. Like they got my eyebrows, my baby hairs. They even got my pinky ring. This is my personal pinky ring that my niece gave to me. Barbie is diversifying and Barbie is showing that, you know, there's more than one type of woman out there in the world, you know what I mean? And, and I think expanding the definition of what beauty has always meant to people. And I'm very proud to be a part of that step. We realized that there were correlations in the way that, like the message and what Barbie stands for, what we stand for is very similar. It's just that girl empowerment and you know, you can do anything, you can be anything you want to be. It says in the theme song that we sing. Um, there we go. Let's go. but we were just like screaming, we were crying. We've been playing with Barbie since we were like little, so to actually see ourselves in doll form, it's just crazy. We had so much input. I mean, you could see even down to like, I have my moles. <laughs> They're like on the Barbie doll. We were like, okay, like, can, we, like, can we put that in there? And also just like our wardrobe, our hair, everything. Yeah. We had a lot of input and it was really cool to be able to kind of see like ourselves come to life in a Barbie. Like it was amazing. <laughs> I wanted to live in Barbie's world. I wanted to be Barbie. I think Barbie represents infinite possibilities. The dream is still alive. That you, you never get really too far away from that little girl, or you shouldn't. When we were younger, we definitely had so many Barbies, we didn't know what to do with them, you know? And even just in the back there, when I was um, playing with the girls, you know, they were getting to redress the Barbies, and I completely forgot what it was like and how much fun it is to do stuff like that. It's really girly and feminine, and it's an honor for me to, to get to design a fashion line for Barbie. You know, when I was younger, I never saw myself doing something like that. I mean, I think no matter how old you are, you always remember how much you loved Barbie, and you just wanted to be like her when you were younger. She's beautiful, and she's had every job in the world, so she's really talented. Mattel made a Barbie in my likeness, and she's got hips, and she's got a boot and she is so cute. Barbie isn't just about like being a part of the trend, she's a trendsetter, and she also has been the one that's always navigated and told women who they can be. And it just goes to show that Barbie um, will always be there till the end of time. I think these are some of the first of all Barbie dolls, correct me if I'm wrong, that have like flat feet. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, don't, I love heels, but I don't wear them every day, and I don't think you have to wear heels to be a woman. And my heels, are on the ground. <gasps>